When you're making games, getting the artwork can be difficult, especially if you're not an artist or if you don't want to spend any money online or you can't find the images that you want. So what I want to show you in this lesson is a methodology which I normally use when making the games. You usually see them finished when the artwork is already done, but you don't need artwork to start making games. You can work it all just with rectang rectangles and that's usually enough to get you started. You can implement all the game mechanics of a game just using color rectangles and then you can afterwards replace those by the actual images. So basically I wanted to show you how um, all of the images of this game could be just rectangles and the code wouldn't change in the slightest. So you could have, see how, how I'm implementing the animation to the left, to the right by just using this, um, by just doing rectangles and putting and putting arrows. So it, the idea is that it takes you the least possible, humanly possible time to start working on the actual game. The more that, the, the more time that um, that you spend trying to get started, the usually it be, uh, hard, harder, harder it becomes. So this is a good technique to just get started, to just start working on some game mechanics, make it fun, and then the artwork can be something that you can implement later. Um, and then you know exactly the dimensions of the artwork that you need. You know exactly what sizes you need, how many frames approximately. Whereas when you haven't even done anything, sometimes it's harder to know these things because when, once you have something you can play, you, you'll be like, oh, I think the player was too big, it doesn't look right, or it doesn't feel right when I'm playing it. So the sooner that you can get something out that you can actually play, um, the better, the, mo the more likely you'll, you'll be able to succeed in making your game. So to summarize, this is uh, using rectangles as a methodology to get started. So don't worry about not having drawings or about not having artwork. Just, just make a bunch of rectangles and focus on the game mechanics, on what uh, the game will feel like. The artwork um, is some, and obviously the sound as well, are things that can, can come afterwards in many or in most um, games.